Hi students, this is Dr. Badrenatha Su Pack. Su is different, Pack is different. Su means scale up, scale up. Pack means post approval changes. Post approval changes. So you can see here, scale up. Actually, both are different terms. But in regulatory affairs uh, subject, we are using it combinedly. I will tell you, there was an interesting relationship between the SU and PAC. Okay. PAC means post approval changes. Now we will see very clearly what are these terms. Okay. First, we will see SU. SU means scale up. What is the meaning of scale up? Scale up. See here, I shown here very clearly. Small batch you are making into big batch. It is called a scale up. Scale up. You are making a 20 idli. Your mother in the home, uh, she is making a 20 idli. But in the hotel, they are making a 100 idli at a time. That is called a scale up. Means you are increasing the batch size. You are producing a 1 lakh tablets per batch. Now you want to increase your batch size to the 10 lakh capsules uh, per batch like that. 1 lakh capsules, you are making into a 10 lakh tablets. Then you can say it is a scale up. And scale down also there, scale down. That means that you are decreasing a batch size from large batch size to the small batch. That is about the scale up. Post approval changes, prepaid, postpaid. Just like prepaid, postpaid phones we are using now. Post approval, that means that after getting the approval, you want to change the modification. Then what to do? You want to change the formulation. You want to change the site of manufacturing. You want to change the manufacturing vessel. You want to change the process parameters. Okay. But already you have approval. Now you want to change. Then again, we have to go for the documentation. What documentation we have to submit. Either we have to start it from the early beginning. All these things we have, we have to be discussed in the post approval changes. See here. Government will not accept easily. Regulations will not accept easily. Because... Uh, if you want to the scale up after getting approval, see your mother is a beautiful cooker. Okay, she will do excellent cooking 20, 20 at least at a time. She will make a, whenever four or five members come into the into your house. Now, what happened? We have given approval. She, she is excellent like that. We have given approval. But suddenly uh, 50 members came to your house to take idli. Now, what happened? She want to change the entire vessel. She want to change the stove, burner temperature. See all the parameters. See, she, we cannot give assurance at that time. Okay. She, her quality may be reduced because that's why government also will not, that is regulatory affairs also will not give approval easily if you want to. You might be expert in the preparation of 1 lakh tablets in a batch. You might be expert. Okay. But if you want to change it to a 10 lakh tablets per batch, again, you have to do some, uh, you have to apply. So how to apply and what are the things that are done, we will see now. Scale up and post approval changes. See, very clearly, you see, first, very, very important. Formulation you have already developed. Formulation, excellent formulation uh, you have developed. See here. Now you applied for USFDA. Example you take USFDA. Okay. You got approved also. See, you got approval also for this USFDA. This is called a pre approved phase before getting the approval. See, now you want to change the formulation. Suppose new excipient came, cheaper excipient came, cheaper, very cheap, dead cheap excipient came. Now what you have to do, you want to change it. So you will get a doubt, what I have to do? Now I am changing, already I have approval. If I want to change the excipient, what I have to do? Okay, either I have to reapply. See, many things. Himachal Pradesh is giving a very good, excellent benefits for those manufacturers. If you start in the Himachal Pradesh, if your company. Now you, you are planning to change your company from the Hyderabad to the Himachal Pradesh. Okay. What approval already you have for the Hyderabad plant. Now you want to save plant to shift in that. Again, you have to reapply. Like that many doubts will come. Many doubts. This is called a post approval phase you want to change the formulation you want to change many things now need to reapply question mark so very clearly each and every step we will see now okay this is my mobile app complete usfpa documentation for the uh, post approval changes 
I have already given in the my app. Okay, this is my mobile app. It can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Okay, go to the store option. In the store option, I have kept all M Pharmacy, B Pharmacy courses. All my presentations are available in the form of PDF. Okay, at uh, 24 into 7 by 7, you can be viewed. This is about my YouTube channel. This is about playlist. If you click on the playlist, you will get subject wise uh, uh, videos. If you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise. See, all these are the changes. You want to, after getting approval, see now approval is over. Approval is over. Now you want to change your formulation. What are the possibility changes? You want to change in the components. You want to change in the ingredient. You want to change the excipient, addition of the new excipient, or deletion of the new ex, uh, of new excipient, one excipient, deletion of old excipient, change of the costly ex excipient with the new, cheaper, better excipient, amount of the excipient increased. You want to decrease the amount of excipient, change in the composition, okay, change in the percentage weight by weight change in the percentage, uh, volume by volume. Okay, all these things. Change in the manufacturing site, another city, you want another another state. Change in the manufacturing process, change of equipment, to change of vessels, to change of reactors, to change in the manufacturing process parameters like a tablet, compression speed you want to change, drying temperature you want to change, new additional manufacturing steps you want to add, addition of the mixing step. Like otherwise, deletion of the drying step. Okay, change in the testing of analytical method. For example, you are using a UV method. Okay, already you have approval for that method. Okay, now you want to change it to a HPLC method for analysis. And the scale up, you want to increase the batch size. Scale down, you want to decrease the batch size. Now what we have to do? Okay, see all the changes are leading to confusion. That's why regulatory department, they have divided very clearly under the four categories. Uh, changes that are related to the components and the composition. Components, composition, difference. The site of manufacture. You want to change the scale up of manufacture. Okay, scale up. See here, scale up. You are increasing. The manufacturing process you want to change and the equipment change. Like that, for all changes, there is number of changes are nearly 100, 200 number of changes are there. All changes they have categorized for our easy purpose. Easy purpose, they categorize it into four. Okay. Uh, this category is important. So whenever you want to change, you just what you want to change, under which category it falls. Under which category it falls. You have to be see. Next, under each category, again, there are three levels are there. Three level of change. See, this is called a category of the change. This is called a levels of change. Level one, level two, level three. Level one is unlikely to have a, a detectable impact. There is no much more impact. These are the small changes like a label change. You want to change the label, there is no uh, impact on the quality. Okay, you want to change the label design, no impact on quality. You want to change the container, no impact on the quality of the product. Okay, and uh, level two could have See here, could have significant impact, maybe could have. And uh, third one, likely to have significant impact. This is more, pro level one is small, small changes, level two, medium changes, level three, big changes, like that. In each category, three levels you have to be seen. You want to change the category one and level one, like that. See, four into three, 12 possibilities, okay? And uh, here I have shown you, what is the level one changes? Unlikely to have, see here, unlikely, there is, there might be no, no impact of the quality. Unlikely to have any detectable impact of, for example, changes in the color, changes in the flowering agent, changes in the excipients, uh, small express in the percentage, like a weight by weight, you are applying as a volume by volume, you are expressing no much more. Level two could have significant impact, like that your technical grade excipient you want to change, obviously you want to change. There might be chances are there. Level three, likely to have significant impact, like any qualitative or quantitative experience, narrow therapeutic drug for excipient change in the narrow therapeutic drug, controlled release, polymer, you want to change, very difficult, very difficult. Compulsory, these all these levels you have to be right in the examination all the categories also you have to be right exam so what you have to do regulatory department has given a very clear-cut information whatever change 
you have to apply four documents one two three four documents either one document or combination of one and two or combination of two and three or combination of three, whatever it may be four documents you have to be supplied need to reapply know your category change that is first in each category know the level of change these two are important then you submit the below respective document four documents are there this called as a super documentation in the next coming video uh, completely i will make a full videos on this one okay discuss it in the next video class four very important annual report first document annual report next pass prior approval supplement definitely you have to get prior approval before change prior approval supplement see before changing you have to wait and you have to get the approve again if you want to change okay changes being affected supplement changes to drug product four files are there okay i will tell you now these four are very very important see components and composition first one i have told no first category components composition four categories we will see in components and composition again they have divided into supac ir here what we are doing to change we have to change the excipients and drug product changes in the excipient components changes in the ingredients okay for example say supac ir they have given for immediate release one regulation supac mr if you want to change the excipient in the ir one regulation if you want to change the your excipients in the mr modified release regulations are different if you want to change for semi solid excipients in the semi solid regulation is different so supac ir supac mr supac ss okay uh, this is applicable for uh, conventional release solid oral doses form also immediate release solid doses form supac mr modified release see modified release we are using a polymer okay uh, and that's why here they have given changes if you want to change the release controlling polymer or you want to change the non releasing controlling polymer so for uh, semi solids you want to change the preservative very important if you want to change the preservative you have to follow the supac ess guidelines see first one see here supac ir immediate release formulation uh, level of change is one example see here uh, here you can see the classification deletion of partial de deletion or partial deletion of ingredient color flavor change in the ingredient of ink changes in the excipients expressed in the percentage uh, white by white like a filler you want to change the filler you want to change the disintegrant you want to change the starch plus or minus 3 others uh, binders uh, lubricants uh, all these comes under level 1 uh, supac ir first category composition and components stability test documentation what you have to do which test you have to stability application compendial and you have to submit the annual report i will explain you what is annual report in the next video completely annual report you have to submit this is a test documentation and level 2 same ir level 2 uh, these are the changes in technical grade of excipients uh, disintegrant fillers technical grade of excipient changes in the excipients say filler 10% you are here here filler 5% starch 3% here filler 10% more change see here starch plus or minus 6 others binders like that you will you will get more values then what you have to do number of tests are there stability application compendia dissolution data apparatus kca ksb case c high permeability and you have to submit two documents here prior approval supplement and annual report like that in the level 3 the same ir okay higher level than supac ir stability application compendial ksb and prior approval supplement annual report both you have to be submit and the mr modified release i told no for non release control equipments modified release non release controlling excipient see uh, this is a polymer we are not using for the control of the release of a medication okay uh, here level 1 level 2 level 3 okay and what are the tests you have to perform test documents after this test documentation you have to file it file it annual report prior approval supplement for this and respectively i classified okay mr modified release controlling excipients these excipients will control the uh, release of the drug level 1 level 2 level 3 annual reports prior approval same only four documents are there 
and the SS semi solids. I told no non sterile uh, semi solid doses for level one change, level two change, level three. Here examples, test documentation, and the filing. And uh, uh, components and the composition preservative. See here, preservative you want to change. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, here up to five percentage. Here ten percentage. Ten to twenty percentage. Uh, greater than twenty percentage. See here. You want to change it in the percentage also. You have to be see. Okay, under which category it forms? Uh, that falls you test documentation. What you have to perform in your company, and you have to file this to the regulator department. Manufacturing site changes, changes in the location of a site of manufacturer, packing operations, analytical testing laboratory do not include any here. This do not include the scale up, scale down. That is another one. Okay, current good manufacturing uh, practice inspection level one site change within a single facility. No change in the SOP. Change SOP we are not changing environmental condition. No change in the equipment used. Uh, no common. Personal application combined the annual report you have to change to same continuous campus same campus uh, common personal no other changes okay then you have to apply super okay annual report same profile different campus different personal manpower is also changing different campus also changing now these are the test documents is what you have to do and file it and batch size scale up this is a third category changes in the size of the batch. Uh, no change in the SOP. SOP is the same. Okay, formulation. Then uh, you are changing the minimum batch size for five water batch. That is okay. Uh, changes level one, level two. Level one changes examples. Level two changes example. What which documents you have to be support. Manufacturing changes. Manufacturing. You want to change the equipment. You want to change the manufacturing process. Approved validation like that. This is a level one, a level two and documents, tests and documents, what you have to perform. This is a level one, manufacturing changes, process two, three, process change, okay? And so full document, if you want, it is available in the app. So I'll end my session here.